Hold on a minute. I'm actually videoing this arrival <laughs> for a blog I'm doing. Okay, so um, the box kind of looks like it's had a, a hard trip here already. I didn't do that. It was actually it, it was actually open like that. Um, so this might be my first good chance to um, to see about the quality uh, of this Jet City JCA 2112RC um, here from from the looks of the uh, of the trip it had to get here. I'm gonna say that if it's in good shape. Wow, look at this box, man! It's just like. I mean, it's just like roached to death. So I'm going to say that, yeah, I mean, if this thing's in good shape, then uh, it can probably take almost anything that can be dished out to it by a musician. Because I'm going to say that UPS probably gave it more than your average musician would. So, okay, I'm going to I'm going to try to actually open this thing while I'm also uh, holding the camera here. And again, there's not much to open because... Most of it's already been ripped open uh, just through transit, it looks like. Okay, this, uh, this came from Musician's Friend, by the way. Uh, I like Musician's Friend. Okay, so... Little, kind of standard little uh, styrofoam blocks there, um, which hopefully did their deal... Hopefully did their deal to protect this thing, huh? Let's see now. This is kind of hard for me to both be the camera person and also be open in this thing, but this is kind of the way I wanted to show it to you. You've seen a million demos of what these things, um, you know, what these things sound like. So I kind of wanted to uh, to give a little bit of a different perspective on all of this. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is actually just, you know, get it out of the bag here. I will say the first thing that uh, I'm impressed by when looking at this is that it's it's larger than I thought it would be for a for a 20 watt 112 combo. This thing is this thing is not what I would call small, not at all. Let's just take a look at the owner's guide. Let's see if there's any of that like, you know, bad Chinese that's been translated into American. I loved one time I was reading a piece of uh, a manual that came with some computer software, and it said, "It said if product does not start, start a computer again." And I thought that was awesome. You know, I'm assuming they mean restart your computer, but anyway, okay, this here. So this is all looking pretty good here. This is all standard stuff. I'm not seeing any stupid-looking crap. Okay, before you rock. Congratulations, um, blah blah blah. This is all good. I love this this rock amplifier. This is a rock amplifier that wants to rock. If you don't have a guitar with dual humbuckers, borrow one from. A, I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. Can I get this here? Okay. Basically, it says that this was uh, designed by renowned tube amp guru Mike Salinato in Seattle. Uh, Washington meticulously assembled to meet his standards. Um, that's kind of what this part right there is saying. Then it goes on to say, whatever your musical taste may be, you'll enjoy the versatility, portability, and long-term durability of this kick-ass tube-driven <laughs> rock tone factory. Okay, I'm liking this already. I love people who... This, this is not some stupid... Manual made by the Chinese here and poorly, uh, poorly translated. I love this part. Okay, so here's where I started reading. It says this is a rock amplifier and it wants to rock. <laughs> if you don't have a guitar with a humbucker in the bridge position, borrow one from a friend. <laughs> it will, it will sing to you if you try it and make you proud. Oh my gosh, I am not kidding. Okay, anyway, so, uh, yeah, it, okay, some, this is pretty good, amp speakers and pins, okay, um, wow, okay, so the warranty, what is the warranty anyway, 
material and workmanship from for one year. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. Um, <coughs> to do, to do, to do, uh, original buyer. The warranty is only good to the original buyer. If you resell it, you don't get it. Okay. Um, well, there you go. Wow. And at the end, it talks about uh, how this amplifier could, in fact, destroy your hearing, so protect your hearing. Okay. Well, that was fun. Wow. Actually, I've, I've not usually had that much fun with a... Uh, uh, with the uh, manual before. Again, this is a relatively inexpensive amplifier. Um, and by relatively inexpensive, I mean it's quite inexpensive. If you're looking at it, here's a little spot right here where the Tolex is just not quite wrapped perfectly. Um, same thing same thing over here in this corner. Tolex is not quite wrapped perfectly. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm used to amps that cost many times more than this. Okay, so physically, even though the box kind of looked like it was beat to heck, um, and by kind of looked like it was beat to heck, what I mean is it looks like this sucker was shipped from from China, like on a slave ship or something. Um, so other than that, okay, so we've got we've got these couple of spots on the Tolex up here on the corners where it just looks like they didn't do a really good job, and we've got this sort of interestingness where you can it's because the grill cloth is right smack dab on uh, the baffle here. Which, by the way, I think it's not. This is this is all one solid board all the way across here, so it's not a separate speaker baffle. Um, anyway, so there you go. I tell you what, I am going to now. Isn't this great? I've got all the pieces, you know, kind of strewn all over here. Okay, so now um, I guess it's time to listen to this thing. By the way, it, overall though, I mean the feel is, uh, you know, for the price of the amplifier, certainly, it, you know, it's got a kind of a cool feel about it. I like it. I like uh, I like the way it looks. Okay, hey gang. Uh, Vaughn here, basking in the sunlight of our front entryway. Um, let's see, JCA 2112RC. Wanted to say that before I forgot it. That JCA 2112RC. That is the version of this little Jet City amplifier, um, Jet City 20. Um, and it is designed by Saldano, and uh, when this thing arrived, I've got to tell you that um, that it, uh, it it really felt neat. It's got a cool feeling, looking cabinet about it, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, I'm going to go ahead though. You've probably read what the features are anywhere else. It's got spring reverb. Um, and the thing that it's really, really, really known for more than anything else is it's got that Saldano high gain sound about it. Um, but I'm going to start out with clean tones like I usually do. And I'm going to try to give you my standard clean sparkly thing. See what you think about this. In a word, not bad. Um, let's see. I'm going to do some all the way up in the neck stuff. Like, uh, you know, I, I kind of play all the same licks all the same times when I'm evaluating tone because I, I know them and I know what they're going to sound like. Wow, man, I got some sun shining on here. <laughs> Bass almost cranked, middle barely cracked open at about two, and treble a little above halfway in the presence almost halfway. 
Um, input gain is just barely cranked open because I'm going to tell you, baby, this mama, when you start cranking input gain, it gets dirty in a hurry. Um, and I've got the, the master about halfway there. Um, so there's actually, let's do this. There's a couple other clean things. My, um, this is a bridge pickup and neck pickup. Uh, it's already wanting to, to distort. And that's, yeah, and that's with the input gain on a little less than two. nice though the type of breakup that it's wanting to do you know it's it's that that thing that we like man it's clean but it's just giving you a little extra harmonic distortion um let's see okay all the way on the twang setting <laughs> eh, it's not really that amps thing is it not bad though i tell you what Let's go to Bridge Humbucker and uh, bring up the gain. I'm going to go ahead and pull the input gain up to about halfway and pull the master down a little bit. Try to. We're about 100 decibels here in the room. I've got my, my little dB meter here, and I'm going to be trying to keep us at around 100, 100 decibels or so um, because when the uh, compressors kick in on this uh, little camera that I'm using, it gets really ugly in a hurry. Okay, so first master down a little, input up. <laughs> Okay, so this is with the input gain at about halfway. Right, let's try my Stevie Ray stuff that, that has just a little dirt on it. Oh, hold on a minute. Um, coffee cups make every amp sound better. Okay. I'm avoiding, there's, there's vent, ventilation holes in the top. I'm avoiding the vent holes. Wouldn't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sounds better already. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, let's go to the bridge pickup here now. And um, I tell you what. Reverb, by the, by the way, right now is on about, uh, it's all the way up to four. I can warn you up front, the reverb tanks in these, I don't think they're really, really, really big because the reverb's not very long and it doesn't get very deep either. Um, again, this, this particular amp is not all about, about uh, Surf City. It's really kind of a little bit more on the hard rock, even towards metal side. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and give... I'll just go ahead and max the input gain. Yeah, so uh, 
uh, if swimming in a sea of surfy reverb is your thing, uh, this is not your amp. Cleans, yeah, so so. Um, but the big deal with the uh, with the Jet City is definitely that high gain. And um, having played with a number of Soldanos in my day, I can tell you it's very similar feeling. Um, a little tweaky. You got to be just a little careful turning knobs. You know. Um, it's not as much a just turn it on and boom, there it is, especially the input gain control, man. I mean, a, you know, going from like two to two and a half can make a huge difference. Um, okay. So anyway, uh, if you watched, I just got done doing a demo, uh, with the, uh, with the new, uh, Bugera V22, the Vintage 22, and, which is an amp at about the same price range as this. Overall, very similar, a 2EL84 power section, um, and a really rocking little amp for the price. Man, I got to tell you, if I would have been 16 years old and these kind of amps were available to me, I would be ruling the world today. I mean, we had to, I mean, you know, we had to pay big bucks if we wanted a good tube amp in uh, whatever, maybe 78 or so is when I bought my first amp. This is amazing, the tools that are available for low dollars these days. But I am going to actually pin this Jet City amp against the Bugera in my next video. And uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to set them both up, just, you know, AB switch between the two of them and uh, see what I get. It's going to be interesting. So y'all stay tuned, okay? Thanks. I'll see you in a minute.